What's going on guys? This is Booster Kraken and today we are opening up a Magic the Gathering Dominaria booster box. Uh, I went to Grand Prix Minneapolis a little over a week ago. Um, went 3-3 in the main event, but I went 5-1 in the PTQ on Sunday. I uh, managed to get a couple of booster boxes. So, uh, first one's Dominaria. We're going to open it up. Uh, at 5-1, and one, I did not make top 8 because there was only 6 rounds of Swiss. So, uh, but I got some product, so happy with that. Let's crack them open and see what we can get. So, of course we would like uh, Tafiri or Karn. We got uh, Joda Archmage Eternal. Uh, I should separate these a little bit, so... Commons, uncommons, rares, and then we'll go from there. This is the first uh, MTG video I think I've done on the channel, so... Uh, probably be more of those coming eventually. Um, and... I'm not going super in depth right now. So we got a Yagmouth's Yog Vile Offering, rare, and we got a uh, Partic Wanderer foil. It's really weird that I haven't opened some of these new sets, so I don't know how the cards are ordered or why that one was in back. I know it has a different border. Oh, it's probably is it because it's a legendary creature? I don't, I don't know. I don't know exactly. We're just cracking. We're seeing if we can hit some Teferis or Karns. So weird. Alright. Uh, we got the Antiquities War. Rare. We got the Garna Blood Flame. Uncommon. So I think that's what it is. Those legendary creatures get... Instead of being in, in the uncommon slot, which they normally would be, get pushed into the back, so. Throwing me off a little bit. Alright. Ooh! That's what we wanted. Karn, Scion of Urza. Pretty good. Exactly what we wanted. Well, one of the things. We'd really like Tefiri, too. Uh, Karn's. I think sitting around $30 to $35 right now, so pretty happy with that pull. See if we can get anything else out of this box. Alright, I got Urza's Ruinous Blast. Rare, and uh, Adelie's the Cinderwind. And guys, if you like uh, MTG or you want me to do some more in-depth stuff on uh, MTG. I definitely can do that. I will be playing more. Probably not every week, but I'm going to start playing again. I miss it. It's been a little while since I've played and going back to the Grand Prix with, you know, seeing some old friends and stuff. That uh, was a lot of fun, so definitely going to be doing that. So we got uh, Right of Bells and Lock. Rare, and we got a Chalet Voice of Plenty foil rare. So uh, I think that was the. I think I only get one foil rare per box. Leave him over here. Not a hundred percent. Like I said, it's been a while since I opened these. Since I opened any MTG, it's been about four years. I did have a. I opened some random packs of Battle Bond, but. Uh, I was super tired when I made the video and I didn't end up uploading it, but I might end up... Uh, I got a Verdant Force. Uh, might end up uploading it just as kind of like a bonus video. We'll see. Alright, we've got Primeval's Glorious Rebirth as our rare. Arvid the Cursed. This set actually looks fun to draft. I kind of wish I would have gotten to draft it a few times. Uh, limited is probably one of my 
most favorite format, so draft or sealed deck. Uh, I mean, construction's fine too, standard and modern, but um, back when I stopped playing four years ago, I sold sold out, sold all my cards. We got uh, Black Blade Reforged. Sold all my cards so I could uh, pay some bills while I went back to school. Which is good at the time, but uh, magic prices are pretty pretty crazy nowadays, so you usually regret it when you sell all your cards like that. <laughs> Cabal Stronghold is our rare. We got Precognition Field. Come on, we need some more Mythics. Teferi would be good. Joseph Vess, Lich Knight. We got a Foil Corrosive Ooze. And then a Legendary Creature. Alright, Helm of the Host, and Tetiova Benthic Druid is our legendary creature there. Let me know down in the comments, guys, would you like to see more MTG videos? Like I said, if I'm playing, uh, I will probably be winning product. Uh, Oath of Tefiri. So I'll naturally have more product uh, to open. So if you guys uh, want to see that, let me know down in the comments. Or, uh, you know, guys, like the video, too. Uh, liking the video helps out a ton. And I would appreciate it. All right, we got Squee the Immortal as our rare. Uh, Grand Prix Minneapolis, uh, both the main event uh, and the PTQ on Sunday were both uh, M19 sealed, so that's core set. M19, Evra Halcyon Witness. I'd really like to hit some Steel Leaf Champions. Or something like that. Foil planes, and we got a Grand Warlord Rata as our rare. Back in that legendary creature slot. Alright, we got a Gilded Lotus. That's not bad. It's a rare. I'll set that guy off to the side. Uh, make sure you go... I'm not sure when this is going up, but make sure you... Um, if you haven't entered into the giveaway, Ooh, we got Leyra Dawnbringer, Mythic. Uh, if you haven't entered into the giveaway, uh, link will be in the description. Uh, just be sub to the channel, like the video, leave me a comment, and let me know what kind of packs you'd want. I'm giving away three packs to two lucky winners. Uh, can be from um, any newer set of any game you want. So go check it out, guys. Kazarov Singer Pure Blood.
Then of course I have another box of uh, M19 to open. And if they get good reception, uh, I'll continue to get M our magic product, but if not, then we'll just open it up from time to time when I get stuff. Ooh, we got a Phyrexian Scriptures Mythic. One of these sagas. Something new that I haven't played with yet. But. We got a Territorial Allosaurus. These are rare. We got a Foil Relic Runner. Over halfway done with this box. I'm really happy about that card. Like I said, I would like some Steel Leaf Champions if we could get them. They're just a rare, but. Uh, Shayla, Voice of Plenty. Nothing so far, though. I guess that Lyra Dawnbringer is pretty good, somewhere around 10 bucks, too. Alright, we got Naru Miha Master Wizard Mythic. Nothing great. Pretty much, if it's not, uh, Tafiri Karn, Chandra Lyra, or Mox Amber. It's uh, not super great, so. We got the first eruption saga rare. I got a Siege Gang Commander. And a Foil Fervent Strike. I play with Siege Gang Commander in the Legacy a few times. Didn't do well, but I played with it. Alright, next up we have... Naban, Dean of Iteration, is our rare. We got four mythics. Five mythics. Is this a mythic? I don't remember. Yeah, it is. So we got four mythics so far. Not sure uh, if there's a standard amount to get in a box, but... Alright, Lich's Mastery, regular rare. So in the main event, uh, I went 3-3 three, three drop. I uh, played blue-green. Um, we got a Woodland Cemetery. I'll take lands since I don't have any lands right now. Sarah Angel Foil, that's pretty cool. Slime Foot Stowaway. Yeah, I went 3 3 drop. I, I don't know, the deck was fine. Uh, the pool wasn't great. I had another deck I could have built, or I could have built. Uh, I could have been more greedy since I had some. Um, some of the dual lands, but. Chose to try and be more consistent to Goblin Chain Whirler. Chose to be more consistent and may have been punished for it. I'm not sure. You will never know. But yeah, Sunday's PTQ. Uh, I played red white. And I feel like it was a 6 0 deck. Uh, the round that I lost. Uh, we got Mold Moldrothog the Gravetide Mythic. 
Uh, the run I lost. Game one was good. But he beat me. Um, just kind of sputtered out. And then game two, I only drew two lands. So. My deck was uh, very aggro. Which red white you'd assume it would be. Camel's Druidic Vow. Camille's. Camille's? I don't know how you say it. Alright, we're down to our last four packs. But yeah, 5 1. Not good enough to make top 8, unfortunately. Um, if you didn't go undefeated, you probably didn't make top 8. Undefeated with, uh, you could add a draw in there too, but two-headed giant. At least one group probably made it with draws. I don't know. We didn't stick around too late, so. Got my product and skedaddled. Seal away. Oh, we got Fall of Thran. Rare Saga. Stacks are getting unruly. Alright. Cast down. Got a foil spore cloth salad. And a rare is. Tesher Ancestors Apostle. And down to our last pack. Not a single Steel Leaf Champion. Got Isolated Chapel. And that is it, so... Little recap here. I'm not sure if the... Shela Voice of Plenty is anything. Uh, Maldrotha the Gravetide. Uh, Naru Miha Master Wizard. Phryxia Scriptures. We got a uh, Lyra Dawnbringer. Uh, Gilded Lotus Rare, but we did get a Karn, so... Uh, I'm not gonna complain too much. Pretty happy with that, so... Uh, make sure you guys like the video, comment, uh, subscribe if you're new. Let me know if you like uh, MTG openings or magic in general. And uh, thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time, guys. Later.